Good morning. <coughs> Happy Saturday. The sun is shining. So, so my um, title of the video is Saturday Vibes and I'm going out out. So my version of out out is meeting my mum and my sister at Marks and Spencer's in Hedge End and going to Marks and Spencer's and Sainsbury's. That's my version of out out. Go me. I'm so rock and roll. Morning, babe. <coughs> so I just thought I'm, I'm li literally up against time because I've got to leave here and go to mum's, give the dog their biscuits while she's having her hair cut and then go over to um, Hedge End <laughs> and look for bras and pants. <laughs> Rock and roll. <laughs> so, anywho, I'm just going to put some quick makeup on. <laughs> it's, I'm sat, I don't know why our heating's on. I'm sat really right next to the radiator and... It's really, really hot. <laughs> I'm having a little bit of a <laughs> moment. My um, jelly, my sty didn't come out in my eye. This is good news. So I don't look like horrendous something out of I don't know what. So I'm just putting <coughs> some eye primer on because I'm going to just use our normal eyeshadows this morning. And um, for anybody with hooded, crepey, crumply eyes I can't recommend this enough because this will although our um eyeshadows are really highly pigmented 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 whatever you say it um they do sometimes especially with the shimmer ones and I'm gonna put a shimmer on because I'm out out um they will actually crease and sit in your creases all day but when you put the eye primer on I can promise you mine stays put all day and I wouldn't lie and I wouldn't use it if it didn't work because I have some crumples. I have crumple issues. So yes, my little eye primer, it's tacky when you put it on, but it's really, really good, really good for anybody that's got hooded eyes um, to keep your eyeshadow in place all day. I'm also gonna put my mattifying primer on, on the face, it's going on the face. <laughs> Who knew all this stuff was the thing? I didn't. About a year ago, I didn't even know there was such a thing as primer for your face. But anywho, here we go. So the mattifying primer is, um, so we've got three. We've got um, a hydrating primer. That's really good hydrating primer for those people who have drier skin. Um, we have this mattifying primer for people who have perhaps combination, a bit oily skin, and it really does sit in your pores nicely so that when you put your foundation on it kind of <laughs> stop laughing at me jelly so that when you put your foundation on it kind of sits nicely on your face and doesn't sink into your pores mattifying primer or wash but you've got to do it and you've got to leave it on for a couple of minutes to let it do its thing so that's our mattifying oh and we also have the um normal primer which is the one i started off using and i love this because it feels like silk that's for anybody who just has normal skin and it also helps build a base for your foundation when you put it on. Morning, Sarah. How's that naughty Rory? Little tinker. I don't know. So anyway. Out, out, Sarah, today to Marks and Spencer's and Sainsbury's in Hedge End to buy bras and pants. I'm so rock and roll. Oh, I'm such a party animal. Not glad your boy came home yeah me too I was a bit worried because you've got a huge great big garden where you live Sarah he could just roam off anywhere naughty little puss puss so I've put my eye primer on and like I said it get it does get a little just jumped all over me that's nice he's big as well <laughs> um so my eye primer I put on and it is quite tacky so before you put your any <laughs> new knickers I love a good pair of new knickers and mum accidentally got her spelling wrong in her text and she said she was going to buy pants and brads so that's what we're going for today some pants and brads everyone loves a new brad um anywho i want to come with you You come with me beanie come down come with me we're only going for brads and pants we can't even go and um i said no i haven't either sarah i haven't been to any shops either this is the first time for me so i'm a little bit jittery and a bit nervous about the whole sitch but what we really wanted to do was go and have a coffee and a breakfast beforehand. 
of course you can't in Marks and Spencer and Sainsbury's. I don't for one minute think they're coffee shops and that are open, are they? Because it's indoor eating. I'd put Brad. <laughs> you can keep Brad because I don't, I, I, that whole thing passed me by. August beanie, yes. Brads and pads in Hedge End in August. Well, we won't be doing brads and pads. We'll be drinking candy, won't we? Um, anywho, back to the sticky eye primer. Um, I absolutely love my pad. It's all full up now. I still haven't got all of them. I still want more. August, baby. <clears throat> so anyway, what I was going to say was your eye primer is very tacky. So what you don't want to do is go on with your colours straight away. So if you use a... Don't laugh at me, Beanie. A kind of bone colour, sort of this colour I tend to use, just to set it. So I'm just going to use my fluffy, no I'm not, I'm using my blending brush and I'm literally just going to pat it all over and that kind of gets rid of the tackiness for when you want to put your actual colour on and I'm just stippling, stippling, Saturday morning stippling and that'll kind of just get rid of the tackiness. That would be fab, I'd be proud. <laughs> Yes, not sure about 8.47. Yeah, no, we won't be uh, drinking candy at 8.47. Although, when it gets to about um, 10 o'clock in the morning, we're like, shall we? Oh, I'll be rude not to. I know, lush Sarah, aren't they? Such a colourful palette. It's just like, I'm just diverse, me. Brads and pants, rock and roll colours. It's all going on here, you know. You <laughs> know. Beanie, I'm not sure you can put that. You love a bit of bone. <laughs> Don't let Mark know, anyway. Right, anyway, so there is, there's that going on. Let me just wipe that off a bit. Ooh, top tip. Top tip, don't you know? Tips, tops, tips here. Amazed I said that without tripping over my worms. So, I've done my bone colour. And what I'm going to do is... I'm going to, what shall I do today? See, I've just bought this one. Sarah O'Brien has just bought this one, trusting, and I love that. So I think I'm going to do that at the bottom. Oh. And because I'm wearing pink, I might go in with a bit of this one. What's, what's this one? What's this one called? Understood. <laughs> tips and trips. Oh, God, tips and trips. <laughs> I looked at the photo of that a um, couple of days ago, Helen. <laughs> Tips and trips. That was a bit of a... Facebook is being a dork. I can't see some of the comments. Oh, really? Oh, Facebook's been really weird lately. I just, I don't get any interaction with anything lately. It's all a bit spazzy, if you ask me. Anywho, tips and trips. Yeah, I found that photo of yours and Ali's faces when we were going through the tips and trips before Mexico. That will be forever etched in my brain, I think. I don't know how we couldn't work it out. Anywho, I'm not going mad with eyeshadow today. It's um, I am going out, out, but you know, my version of out, 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 out. So I'm going to use whatever it was I just said. <laughs> I can't remember. Understood. <coughs> how bleeding long did it take to sort that money out? It took ages to sort that money out, Beanie, and it still wasn't right. This is what I couldn't get my head round. Stupid Mexico money. Anywho, I'm just going to cover my whole eye and I'm just literally going above, see, with, my, with the blending brush, not the fluffy crease brush. I'm just going along my crease and because it's a fluffy brush, it takes it up just that little bit higher and I don't want loads of colour because I am just going to Marks and Spencers. Do the same on this side. I love my colours. <laughs> For so long, I only had like eight or nine in there and it was like, oh God, I need to get more. And then it kind of just accidentally filled up. Do you ever dig your nails into the trays? Yes, <laughs> funnily enough, the one I'm using right now has a dig, nail dig in it. Look, can you see there? <laughs> That's where I stuck my nail in it. Right, so anywho, I need to, I can't see in the phone very well, so literally that's it i'm just doing two colors today oh apart from doing my bone color you just i'm just trying to look in the other mirror because i can't see in the phone so anyway we have all these shades 
we have loads more. I just haven't got them yet, which will mean a whole other palette. <laughs> I think, Jelly, you've probably got as many as I have, haven't you? <coughs> right, so, and then I'm going to use Trusting, and I'm literally just going to give myself a little bit of shimmer. There. Can't have mine in one big palette, I have to have the same shades in a row. Yes, you're a bit anal when you've got peaches, pinks, and neutrals. You've got eight, you've got three eight palettes, haven't you, Jelly? And you've just got, you've got your little pinks and peaches and neutrals. I just need a whole nother one of those. So I'm just going in with my shimmer. Shimmer. Because I love a bit of shimmer. And why not? I haven't put makeup on. Obviously, I'm sure you've seen my posts. I haven't actually been feeling my best this last couple of weeks. And, uh... I haven't put any makeup on whatsoever. I've been keeping up with my skincare, but, sh but makeup, not so much. <laughs> Can't be bothered. You've got two big ones, as you know. Yes, you have two got big ones. Got two big ones, Sarah. <laughs> I want two big ones. <laughs> Pinks, peaches and earthy. Oh, earthy, not neutrals, earthy. Can't have you. Yeah, I know, she's weird, isn't she? She's a bit... Bits. Ooh, what's going on in my hair here? Oh, what a mad. Um, so there we go. A bit of shimmer and a bit of pink. Have you stuck the stickers on a little mirror? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did. Because I didn't want it to be boring when I was doing that. Because it would just be white and that's boring. So I stuck my little flower stickers on. <sighs> Anywho. Oh, I needed to do some under my... Under, under lashes? Under bottom lashes? So I'll just, I can't do this in the phone. I need to do this in my mirror. <coughs> so I'm just going to have a little bit of whatever the hell it was I said I was using under my bottom lashes. What time have you got work, Beanie? Is it one? One, third, one today, isn't it? So if anyone doesn't know, Beanie, I call her Beanie, Helen is working in the um, COVID vaccination centres at the weekends. She's doing her little bit because she's a superstar. Uh, no, they weren't. They were some, one I bought, they were some I bought for ages ago. I think probably for when Andy's kids came round for them to play stickers and I nicked some. You've got one that must be lopsided. What? Oh, that must be lopsided. Are they from here? Yeah, one thirty. I thought it was. And then you're doing earlier tomorrow, aren't you? Right, I'm done faffing with eyeshadows. And I don't know about you, but I've still got a little plastic bit that goes over the eyeshadows that, that was on the mirror. Can't get rid of it. It's the same as all my other things that are still in their boxes. <coughs> so, I've got to go now. Love you loads. Show us all your pants later. Yep, I'll be swinging my pants with the Ellie pants later. See you later, Sarah. Have a lovely day. Oh, 7.30 in the morning. Oh, egg. No candy for you tonight then. Oh, morning, Mark. Um, What am I doing now? What am I doing now? My foundation now. Right, so I've given my um, face plenty of time for the primer to set in. And I'm just doing BB today. So I'm going, well, I'm not just doing BB. I'm going to put a bit of bit of baby and a little bit of concealer which first of all I'm going to dabble on me unsightly bits and then just <coughs> and then I'm just literally putting a little splidge going for a splidge today it's a bit smaller than a splodge so I've put a little bit, you can see the BB, oh, there's the BB and there's the concealer. It actually looks way more than it is, but you could see it's actually flat. It's just not an awful lot there of the concealer. Perfect that is. I know it's right perfect. So I'm just going to tap that in a little bit where I put the concealer. Blooming sun spots or whatever the flipping hell they are gross things 
So I'm just going to tap that in gently. And then when I apply my foundation, I'm literally going to be like dabbing. So if I swoosh, <laughs> if I swoosh, then it will obviously disturb where I've tried to cover up. There's a spot. You put that there. Right. Anywho. So I've got my Kabuki brush. I've got my BB cream. I've got my concealer. I'm a bit nervous because the flower's watching. And I'm just gonna, gonna, I'm gonna just dab, but I'm gonna avoid my under eye area until I've got most of the product off. Because don't want to look cakey. Nobody likes cakey. Oh, that's, I might have to smoosh that in a little bit. Get the rest of the product off. I can swoosh up here because I haven't got any sunspots up here. You'd have thought with your head being higher up, the sun would have got to it quicker. Oh dear. Right, and I'm just going to swoosh now that most of the product is off the brush. And it just literally gives it a very, very light covering without it being cakey. Another top tip from Tip. I need to look, because I can't see in this mirror and I haven't got my glasses on, so I'm just going to have to <laughs> do this. And I think at some point, <clears throat> I mean, I haven't been out in the sun, really. I did sit out a couple of afternoons when we had a nice afternoon. Um, but I do think I might have to get my summer shades out soon. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? A bit of summer... Well, my freckles will come out first. And then... Um, and then, because I've got another BB cream, another one that's a shade darker. And I've got the concealer that's a shade darker. So that I can um, put some makeup on. I don't normally wear foundation in the summer, if I'm honest. I'm one of those people that will just go with the natural freckly look. But I've bought it because... I might actually do some tanning. <laughs> so I'm a, I'm a sun worshipper when it comes to being abroad, but I don't tend to sit in it in the UK. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, my mum recently had um, a little something removed from her um, arm, which was... What was it, Ali? It wasn't a basal cell carcinoma. It was a squirrel, rather. And um, it's kind of made me very conscious of the sitting in the sun aspect of things. So what I might do, because I have the tanning drops. I've only done my arms. That's as brave as it got. I haven't done my face or anything. I might um, have to start thinking about doing that. And because it's full of all natural ingredients... I think I might have to give it a go. They've got coconut water, sunflower seed oil, pineapple extract, strawberry, pomegranate and blueberry extracts. And I think that's a lot less harmful than sitting in the sun and caking myself. Because my skin is very, very much like my mum's skin. And I don't want any of that gubbins and things to worry about. So I think that's probably going to be the way to go for me. Now I'm a bit older, I don't want to have to worry about all that and I don't tend to I mean I'm obviously not going abroad this year because who the hell is but I don't really tend to sunbathe in the UK because I haven't got a pool or a Caribbean sea to dip into so yeah tanning might be the way to go this year <coughs> right bronzers I love my bronzer we these are out of stock at the moment I've been reliably informed by our black status presenters that sun cream on your chest yes I always put sun cream on my chest because that's the bit that gets burned um or I sit there like that um our bronzers I've been told reliably that they're going to make a flash comeback so I should be buying one or two more of these because I flipping love them especially because they're nice and easy and sometimes I don't bother with the blusher and the highlighter I just little 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 splodge of bronzer so literally just going to dab because I don't want to disturb the makeup Anyone else doing anything nice this Saturday? It's actually sunny here. It's supposed to be raining later, but it is actually sunny. 
bright blue skies. So what's everybody? I know Beanie, you're working. But I don't know what weather you've got out there, so it's whether that makes a difference or not. <coughs> a little bit of highlighter. <sighs> don't want bronzer all over my t-shirt. And I literally just highlight my cheekbones. And I don't bring it further forward than there. Because you want to create the illusion of up that way. And by keeping it all further back and doing it in an upward motion, you're lifting. <coughs> oh my good God, <coughs> I've got a frog in my throat. You're cre creating the illusion of your face going like that. It's that attractive. I know exactly what I'm talking about. <sighs> blusher. So this blusher is sweet. And I use this on my eyes as well. It's a very similar sort of colour to that. Oh my God, I haven't put my mascara down on Brad. Hold the phone, everybody. Hang on. Primer, twisted. It's all going on down there. Oh, what a mistake to make her. Mm, good gracious. Always got to put it in a warm place. Cloudy and cold. Oh, beanie. Oh, it doesn't matter so much if you're going to work then. You don't feel like you're missing out on um, anything. A little bit of blush above the bronzer and below the highlighter. Shall I tell you what my makeup routine consisted of a year ago? Mascara and lippy. <laughs> Never used blusher. Never, never obviously used primer. Didn't even know that sort of thing existed. Right, so it's very hard to see in this light, but it's all going on. Subtly, subtly. Um, I'm just gonna use my setting spray to spray, to spray that, set it. Okay. Now that all my powders are in place, how does that was? <laughs> Literally used to walk out the door, go to work, bit of mascara, bit of lippy. Done. <laughs> Can't do that anymore. Even if I tried, I don't think I could do that anymore because I know there's so much more everything else needs to go on. <sighs> there we go. So that was a waft, not just for the setting spray, but for the fact that I'm having a hot flush. <laughs> so I'm going to have to leave that in there for a little second longer. So I'll do, I'll do me lippy. I'll do lippy. So I'm using Easy Street, which is a nice pinky, sort of dusky pink colour. And then I'm going to splodge some Lonesome over the top. Lonesome lip gloss. What do you am? So. Lippy I can do. I've been doing it for years. It's a really nice, nice colour. And that <laughs> will stay on all day. I'll be uh, at Jenny's later with a baby wipe wiping that off. So I'll just stab that a little smidgelet. The eyeshadow. I like my eyeshadow. I like that little shimmer. Just lightens it up a little smidge. Eek. Can't wait to get my lip glosses. I've got two that I've, I ordered. <coughs> I ordered that one for you because it was out of stock. I ordered it for you yesterday. So I'll probably have to give you that next week at some point. So there you go. You've got a little, I don't know if you can see right in the middle of there. You've got like a little hole which holds the product. A really nice applicator because you just one swoosh and it covers your whole lips. Can you see shimmery and shiny lips now? It's Gert Lush. Gert Lush. I have all of them. Mm. 
you see actually I should have, I could have put a bit of that on actually because it's not it's not actually a purple color it's a kind of goes on see it's sort of like a pinky purple I could have put that on but anywho I haven't now <clears throat> There's the little lip glosses. You love the lip glosses, don't you, Jelly? You'll prefer them to a lipstick. And they seem to last quite a long time, I think. Right. So there's the lippy. All right, primer. Oh, heck, this is, none of this is warm. E. What time are you leaving yours, Jelly? What time we meet in 11? Probably about quarter past 10. I've no idea what the time is. So I'm just going to put my eye primer on. So this, so you can see my lashes. Well, can you? You can. Not very long, not very lifted. Although I have, <laughs> I have bought some of these, which I haven't used since I was about 16. So I'm not doing them first time on a live. So I'm going to um, practice with those first before I do anything. But the... Um, lash primer actually does, apart from conditioning your lashes, actually does give them a little bit of a lift before you put your mascara on. It's a bit freaky because it's white, but it does give them a little bit of a lift. And it's really good for your lashes if you've had, um, I don't know, if you're menopausal and your lashes are all over the place anyway me or if you've been under the weather and things like this tend to sort of the first things that are affected are your eyebrows your eyelashes it's really good to get them back into a good condition so you can put your um mascara on and they look nice body body night likes good nice looking looking lashes <laughs> just off the floor. uh right so this isn't going to be very warm either is it so this is a brand new one i just got it out of box who loves a brand new mascara? I do, I do, I do. You doing anything tonight, Beanie? <clears throat> now, this is loaded with product, so if you get a 4D for the first time, I do recommend that you <laughs> wipe a lot of it off. <clears throat> so, Obviously white scary lashes at the moment, but not very long. I'll try and get this so you can see. And you literally go to the base and wiggle to release the fibres, the Y-shaped fibres that are built into here. You just need to wiggle them so they attach themselves to your lashes. And you're supposed to wiggle and roll, but for some reason my brain can't do that. Which is a bit spacky, but... I just love a 4D. Amber's snuggled up in bed with Daddy and she smells all lush and sleepy. Oh, I love her. I did actually think, should I just um, come and sleep in your bed tonight? But then I thought... No, because I'll probably, not, I'm not used to having a four stone dog sleeping on the pillow next to me. So again, I'm wiggling. Not rolling. I don't know why my brain can't do it. Does anybody else <laughs> wiggle and roll? I can't do it. doesn't I don't know I don't know why I can't get to grips with the wiggle and roll but I seem to manage all right without the roll Ali are you putting makeup on for our out out day there you go and that's just one coat I might do a few more coats but I can't, it's really hard to see in these, in this light, to see if you can see what I can see. 
but I can't recommend the 4D enough, especially if you've got short, sparse lashes. But that, for one coat, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> so, I'll put that back in my box so I'll keep it separate from the other one. Right, I'm just gonna just do that a little sec because, oh, the other thing I bought, you'll love this, this is going to be another interesting live. <clears throat> Anybody else used eyebrow stencils? <laughs> You're just biffy. Well, yeah, I am biffy. Right, so I bought this to try. This isn't so scary. Obviously, I've used one of these before. And I'll give that a go. But then I bought... Because I don't shape my eyebrows. I don't ever colour them in. So then I bought eyebrow stencils. And there's hundreds of them. Of different shaped eyebrows and then what you do is put me like, obviously this is not set up right you put them there and then you color in your eyebrows not there obviously because that's that would be silly but i'm sure mine are wonky so at some point or other i'm going to do a live using those Oh, I'll pick, a, pick the shape that's probably best for me. I mean, there's some really, I mean, I don't know if you can see this. I'll just pull that little bit out there. I mean, no, <laughs> that's, that's not me. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> or there's, oh God, there's some right weird ones. They all look like slugs. So anyway, at some point or another, <laughs> I'm going to do that. <laughs> You'll watch that one, won't you, Beanie? But my eyebrows aren't in the same place, so I don't even know how you do it. Oh, I don't know. Do that one. What the weird? <laughs> what that one? Well, how on earth do you even start with that? No, it's not happening. No, <laughs> it really isn't happening, that one. Right, so I'm just using, so I don't use the twisted generally, I use the 4D because I like the 4D. I do use my twisted every day as well because the little wand, little tiny wand is absolutely perfect for, for bottom lashes. And I used to go really mad with my bottom lashes and have them really quite dark and full, but I've kind of, I must have grown out of it or something, but I just like, just to like, you know that. I can't think of the word. I'm too worried about thinking about doing an eyebrow live. <laughs> Has anyone else ever used them? I've just, I've never ever bothered with my eyebrows. And when you see somebody who's done their eye, I mean, I don't like all these sluggy things and faded and all that kind of business. That's never going to happen. But it does frame your face when you do your eyebrows and they, they just scare me. So obviously I'm not doing them today because I've got my fringe and I'll just hide them. But I do need to get to grips with doing them. But yes, let's see what others, they're all a bit, you know, you've got the normal, hang on, normal shape. But even that doesn't sit right on my eyebrow. Have I got a wonky head? See, these are the ones that you see most people with. And I wonder if they use stencils because they get them so perfect. That shape with like the, the straight bit here. Well, I could probably give that a go. If, anyway, it's uh, that, that is what it is. So I think I'm, I might actually put another bit of 4D on. <laughs> it's Brad's and Brad's and Pants Day. But I would recommend scraping absolutely loads of it off. <clears throat> I'm just gonna pick up the ends. Oh, 
that'll do. That'll do, donkey. So, <coughs> I should have taken a before and after picture, shouldn't I really? But never mind. Anywho, so, my lovely lovelies. That's pretty much me done. I cannot wait to have my hair done next week because, look, oh, it's, that's, that actually isn't grey. It's actually my mousy blonde colour that comes through. I don't like it. It makes it look grey. It isn't. So, anyway. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm off to get me brads and pants with me mother. I've got to feed the dogs first. I think we're going to stop in McDonald's and get a latte and something to eat. And then I'm off to Jelly's for the weekend. Fabulous. Anyway, thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I really appreciate it. If anyone would like to spread the love, S-H-A-R-E, <laughs> enjoy brads and pants. I'm going to enjoy my brads and pants, love. Um, if anyone would like to S-H-A-R-E this video, it'd be really, really appreciated. Thank you very much. If you're watching on live, there's a live button up there. If you're not, you're watching on replay, please could you comment hashtag replay. Much appreciated. Um, I hope you all have a fabulous long three-day weekend. Apart from you, Beanie, who's got to work, but you've got Monday off. Um, and I'll speak to you all soon. Take care. Toodles!